Well, today's the day. I took this thing for a dip several weeks ago and forgot to grease the outer bearings. And then I took it for a trip just recently in brackish water and so I really have to oil them bearings or grease them. Especially considering they'd been running for quite a while and were kind of hot so back it in they will have sucked some brackish water into them. Um, I've got to do a few things with this. I've got to clean out some stuff. This is just going to be a general maintenance video. At some point in the future, I need to give this thing some TLC as well. So, we've got a bit to do here. And uh, I think today, this is something that has been a bit of a bugbear for me. I need to get these greased. and Which also means I need to get those holes at the top. So I've got to move everything around. I recently spent three days out and about... Um, it ended up amounting to basically zero footage aside from a couple of other things. There was a river that I had attempted to cross and at its uh, head it broke into the ocean and uh, basically dropped three metres, which even with an amphibious vehicle I can't climb vertical <laughs> banks. So that kind of messed up that video. So I really only have a uh, few snippets. I uh, travelled down to the head of the river um uh, just hours after that happened and i flew the drone over so i will include a little bit of footage here um, of that little area there Anyway, footage aside, we need to get cracking and do a bit of maintenance on this. I probably also need to get it down to my Argo dealer at some point and get him to look at the belt and a few other things. Just generally have a look over it all. Anyway, it's uh, time I got going. So I'm going to go have some breakfast and uh, see what we can do about this. All right, so mag mount to the rescue. Open the lid up here and... We want an Oki strap to hold the lid up. Oh, where are we? An Oki strap being an octopus strap or an elastic strap to hook something in. They are an excellent way to lose your eyesight. Um, Alright. Now we have a grease gun in here somewhere. Oh, the giant extension there. Here is the grease gun with marine grade grease. Now before we do this, we want some grit mitts soap. They're a sponsor of ours. These guys quite graciously sponsored me with some uh, free product. And this stuff is magic. And I'm not being paid to say that. It's great stuff. So I'm going to need that to get the grease off my hands when I'm done. And uh, I got that stuff because Solvol don't make their blocks anymore and their liquid stuff is useless. So that's from Envirofluid. It's good stuff. And uh, my grease gun's been dropped at some point and compacted full of dirt in the end. It's not what I like to see. Oh, I'm going to have to clean that first. I'll be back. All right. We're in. Do we have any water dripping out? Tiny little drip of water, and that's about what we want. Alright, let's move down to the next few.
right, now we're going to do the left hand side, or if you're in Aussie land, it's the passenger side. I've got to do a few things. I've got all these straps and stuff to pull out, and I've got to move this 44 kilo battery out of the way. So I think we'll start with the battery. Now I've got to take the handbrake off. Now, before we take the handbrake off, this is a tilt bed trailer and there's a couple of clips or pins that hold the thing from tilting. I've just made doubly sure that they're latched. Because if I'm wrong, this thing will tilt up and back through the neighbor's fence and we don't want that. Right, handbrake is off. Let's roll her back. Hockey strap. Now we're going to put the handbrake back on because if we don't, we could break an arm or worse. Now we've got to get stuck into it again. Here's the jizz rag, it's like a oh, grease rag, sorry on the grease nipples <laughs> and poke this through clip on the nipple and pump it a few times here's about five or so after this or until I hear the crackle Now, one of the reasons you wipe it with a rag is you don't want particles of sand getting pushed in with the grease because that's going to mess things up big time. You'll definitely be changing bearings if that happens. Now, I'm taking the time to inspect the cork seals, which are still pretty good. This thing has really only seen about a year's service at this point, or a little bit longer. Um, and I'm fairly subdued with it, aside from when the missus drives. So, <laughs> anyway, I think we're going to call this one quits. Um, I've done most of what I need to do with the Ambo. This is just basically bare maintenance. Um, there is, actually there is a whole tub full of rubbish. We should probably actually get in the back and look at the rubbish I picked up on the way as well. Now, we're staring at a blue tarp here, but that'll change. Generally, whenever I get out and about, I like to click up, clean up rubbish and leave the place better than when I got there. Um, and that involves picking up rubbish. So there are some new toys from my apprentice in here and a collection of stuff that she's got. And my camp chair and a whole bunch of other things. I wonder if I can find a better camera angle. Let's try this. So, get my camp chair out. And five litre jury of fuel. Portable toilet seat. Now, there are these things. I don't know what they are, but they were there. 
Funka Farm. There's a hard hat that um, it's got EL on it. That could mean electrical. That might have come off the offshore platforms. It's been in there for a while though. What else have we got? Gloves, bottles, clearly not from Australia. Other stuff, more bottles. That's also not from Australia. Ah. Something, some sort of wacky water or whatever. Pepsi can that's a few years old. Great Northern, I know where I found that. Alright. Bottle that's been in there for a while as well. And there's this bag of rubbish that I need to take out. That's from the previous trip that I forgot to take out. Alright. Alright. That's the rubbish cleaned out. Alright, so that's it for this one. It's a quick little one. I'm going to get some of that grit mitts on my hands. They don't look real dirty, but there is just that tacky, sticky layer of fish smell and grease on them that I really want to get off. Uh, anyway, aside from the biggest bits of rubbish in there, all the other stuff's gone in the domestic waste. Um, I think I may arrange some sort of bigger event later on to escort a cleaning crew up the beach and see what we can pick up. Um, it might work out well. And I might be able to get some permission. Anyhow, um, that's pretty much it for this little video. Probably a bit shorter and a bit more basic than some of the others. But this is actually a really important part of Argo ownership. Is a couple of the basic maintenance things. The two, if you forget nothing else, the two things you need to maintain on these are those outer bearings and keeping a bit of oil on the chains. If you don't do them, you're going to have a real bad day. I think in the, uh, to quote South Park, you're going to pizza when you should have French fried. Okay, you see what he did? He French fried when he should have pizzaed. You French fry when you pizza, you're going to have a bad time. Or one of the two. Either way, we're done. And, uh, yeah, we'll do another video. I'm still struggling to get through the content at the moment been a rough few weeks so you're gonna get what you're gonna get but uh, we'll make it work anyway see you in the next one